I mean, one thing I haven't seen is money drying up. So, right. uh, you know, there's lots of investors with who are sitting on capital ready to deploy. And that's obviously partly why inflation is going through the roof at the moment, especially in the UK. <laughs> you know, um, there's just so much, so much money sitting in bank accounts ready to be thrown into right. any form of investment. And, and I think especially in the UK, not traditionally maybe across wider Europe, for example, but in the UK, you have a lot of really good tax um, efficient investor relief schemes. So investors mm -hmm. are obviously willing, if they're able to, put money into startups. Um, so yeah, so 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 fantastic. In terms of, I suppose, founders having uh, multiple options or, or routes, I think there I think there is because, as I say, there's a lot of access to capital. Um, but I think, unfortunately, because of that access to capital, you know, founders. I mean, they might not, I suppose, because investors, it's quite a small, um, that's what I'm trying to say, it's quite a small network in that sense. So right. there's a lot of sort of hammering, I suppose, across the market with things like valuations. So founders won't necessarily get a good deal right now, even though there's a lot of capital, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, you know, investors obviously know the market and they, they know that they can obviously push valuations down as much as possible to get as good deal as they can.